Hello everybody. So the last two days, LiveNet is having issues with uh, the English links. This thing happened, I think, two months ago. They fixed it. They're still saying they're gonna fix it again. This is something with the government blocking links. The developers are living in Canada. They're doing their best. So I'm just opening up uh, the Mumbai browser. This is a new box. I haven't used the browser yet, so it has some for permissions. Then what I'm gonna do is really simple. I'm gonna get that file linked. Like this, you can pause it if you wanna see it. Get that file link.com. Now I'm going to the website. Downloading the app, meaning putting the APK, clicking on continue, allow, and download. If this box looks different to you, because this is my brand new box, the high-end units, very strong. So the next step is settings, and I'm just opening up the permission for unknown sources right there. Clicking back, clicking install. And next step will be to open file link. <coughs> I'm gonna do a code two 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 two. So eight times two and click here on the continue. You don't have to click on the virtual uh, keyboard, just continue. And then the pin number will be four, seven, five, four, and continue. Now this is just an access for a specific uh, Filing store, there's a bunch of codes like this. I use some of them most of the time. This is the third code that I'm using so, all together. So this guy that maintains this, he is a YouTuber, he sells VPNs. So he tells you to protect yourself. You guys, you have a local VPN. LiveNet will work if you have a VPN, like the ones that you can choose the the flags underneath, uh, they're doing notifications because they want to have a free version and a VPN paid version. Uh, there was a different app that did the same for movies. It used to be called uh, Popcorn Time. So it doesn't really matter. This guy offers a bunch of apps here. This is the first section. It's for movies and TV shows. You can download any app. It's the same process to download any app, so you don't have to think of it too much. Just if you want to try something, you can try something. I'm just showing you, I'm going to show you right there. See, there's a section for called Free TV. I'm going to show you a specific app. Uh, HD Streams is also good because I've tested it. Tap TV is also good, but I'm going to show you how to download a specific application called ModBro. It has not only U.S. channels, also Canadian channels. It's very relevant for us. I clicked on it once, I clicked on it twice. Now, because it's the first time I'm doing this for the browser, it asks me for permission, allow from this source, I allow it, and then I click back, and then I click install. <coughs> What's happening right now, I'm just installing a new app from a uh, a source called filing to get the source i just punch in the codes we won't hide in the code it's a code that i found that i like it's easy to use click done you can download any of these other apps uh, i can even show you that i'm going to download another app at the same uh, chance you can always try to download apps uh, from any source and if you don't like the apps you can just uninstall them makes it simple to try stuff in this case you're not just trying you're trying to solve the problem that uh, LiveNet has so makes it simple I'm clicking back from everything click back 
And I'm going to my main page, plus I'm going to remove LiveNet. We're not done with it, uh, because it's not dead. It just requires an update in this case. I downloaded the two apps, so I'm adding them to my main page. I can always find all of my apps in my app section. This uh, main screen looks different. This is the optimized main screen. So as you see right here, there's the app section, a home and settings. And every app you, that you have is here. I am just gonna check my ad guard. It's working, okay. And now I'm gonna launch. Uh, let's start with mod bro. Hey mod bro. Agree. Allow. So it's up to date. You got channels, news, shows, movies, sports. You can search, you can add stuff to favorites, you can filter stuff. I've checked the app, it works. I'm not allowed to put channels on the video, so trust that, that I checked it. Another application, HD Streams. Gonna show you a little bit about navigation into the app, I agree. HD Streams, allow. There's another version, it tells us to download it. I'm just gonna click not now and close. And not now. So there's different sections right here. Channels, other stuff, radio, shows, favorites. There's a menu on the top right here. I don't know if you guys see it, my cursor. You can click on the menu and choose. And of course here, you can drag and scroll. So let's say one sports. <laughs> I just chose the sports. The, the way to filter it by category, it's, it's a really good app. I'm not allowed to put uh, sports but also the Canadian channels for sports are here, not the regular Canadian channels. On Modbro, the other app, you got a bunch of Canadian channels uh, as well. So this was the explanation how to get two new apps as a replacement for one live net. I would do Modbro for sure, because it's a simple app. HG Streams is just an extra. Bye guys.